What's up YouTube? Today's going to be a follow up video for the previous one where I show you how you can use my project Vivi in order to create your own personal AI assistant. And I'll go through the methods that I have in the class so that we can get it up and running. In order to follow along, uh, you need to have Python installed on your computer and then some type of IDE. Um, in this case, I'm using VS Code. And then what, you also gonna, what you're also going to need is you're going to need Git. So you're going to need um, GitHub's Git command. And once you have those two things, then we'll be able to continue along with this. So let's go ahead and jump into it. And I'm going to show you the repository real quick. All right, so here's the repository. The repository already has some updates from the previous video that I did. I added some new things. Um, but yeah, this has a little bit of a description on what everything is using, how you might use it with the EXE, and you can use it with the releases. But I don't have, uh, it's not the latest um, one. So what I'm going to show you how to do is how to download this repository so that you can get it up and running on your computer. Um, so what you're going to want to do is go to code and then copy this uh, link here. So now what we're going to do is open up a command prompt. Um, so just search up CMD and open up command prompt. We're going to navigate to a folder that we want to put the repository in. So um, I'm going to navigate navigate to the desktop. And then what I'm going to do is going, I'm going to make a directory called delete me. So because I'm going to delete it afterwards. And then what you're going to want to do is CD into it, CD delete me. And um, inside of here, you're going to do git clone and then you're going to paste that link. And then it's going to go ahead, copy over. OK, so once it's copy over, you can do DIR and then you can see you create a fol folder called Vivi. And then we'll do the same thing, CD into it, and then DIR it um, just to see what we have in here. OK, so we've got everything. So now we don't need command prompt anymore. We're going to go ahead and open up VS Code. OK, there's one thing I forgot to say before you can actually um, run this as a Python script. Uh, you need to download all of these libraries. So you need to do pip install for all of these. Um, you can just copy and paste all of these and then uh, go into a terminal and then paste it and install all of them. You're going to need all of those before you can actually run these as Python scripts. So and so what I have here is going to be the uh, this is my current repository. It has additional other it has some additional stuff in here that I don't upload to GitHub, but um, it doesn't really matter. It should be the same for the most part because I just did a commit. So, OK. There are several things inside of this class that you can use. Uh, the first one being chat, the second one being interview, and then the third one being assistant. All of the other stuff are, what do they call it? They are private methods where it's just referenced by the by these public methods. Yeah, you don't really need to understand how they work. You just need to know how these three ones work. If you want to read up a little bit on them, I have notes for each one of these methods. So what you're going to want to do is create either create a new text file um, by going to file new text file um, or you're going to want to take a look at the three pre-made Python classes, uh, Python scripts I already have. So I have a role play script, I have an interview script and I have an assistant script. Um, so let's just go ahead and start one from new just to show you how you can get one um, up and running and customized the way that you want. Um, so if you go, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do from GPT assistant and you're going to import chat GPT chat GPT. So let's go ahead and actually save this. Save. I'm going to do this as test. Your folder is going to be wherever you saved it to. I'm going to do it as test and then from chat GPT import chat from GPT assistant import chat GPT. Uh, you're going to want to set up three variables. You want to set up a uh, personality one and to set up a voice name and then a folder name. OK, so inside of here, um, you have a prompts folder. Um, this is going to have the text file of the description of the of the bot, how you basically set up the bot. So as you can see, the role play one has a text description for how the bot is supposed to um, interact with you. And then there are some other ones as well, assistant and yeah. So we're going to go ahead and just set this one up to assistant or let's do role play. Um, the voice name is going to be 11 labs voice. So if you don't have an 11 labs account, you don't need this one. Uh, but 11 labs allows you to get those human like voices. Uh, the one that 
that I'm going to use is I'm just going to use rem and then folder name. Let's just go ahead and name this one test two. <clears throat> okay. So once you have those three set up, all you need to do now is create a new instance. Let's just go ahead and call it chat bot. And then we're going to do chat GPT. <clears throat> and then as you can see here, uh, we have a description of, or we have uh, a constructor for the parameters that we have. So we're going to set our personality and then voice name. So personality equals personality. And the way I'm auto filling is just by clicking tab. And then uh, what else do we need? We need voice name equals voice name. Okay. And then what we're going to do next is select what type of bot we want. Do we want assistant chat? or interview. So we're going to go ahead and do, um, go ahead and do chat. So chatbot dot chat. And then you can see what I have here. You have the, uh, uh, arguments, you have a save folder, you have update in, and then you have use EL. So the two ones we're going to use is save folder and use EL. Uh, save folder is going to be that variable that we had previous. So folder name, and then uh, use EL stands for use 11 labs. So we're not going to use the 11 labs voice because I don't have that many credits left. And, uh, yeah, so 11 labs is the, is paid. So just to, just to let you know. So once you have this, it's all good to go and it's up and running. And all you need to do is just run the script. So, uh, go ahead and click run, start debugging and you'll, you'll see what pops up. Okay, so I got this error um, and it's telling me that I can't find it and I just realized that I didn't have .txt here. Um, so yeah, you gotta have the .txt there for the personality. So let's go ahead, stop it, click this uh, square here, run, start debugging. You can click F5 to make it quicker and it's gonna start going here. So um, one other thing that you have to do is set up your key. So uh, let me know, open up a blank key real quick. Okay, so your key text file is going to look like this. Uh, you need to, if you want to do 11 labs, you need to open up an 11 labs account and put your API key in here. And then you want to open up a open AI account and then create your API key. So just, uh, you know, you just enter it in here and then same thing with the 11 labs, enter it in here with the, you want to make sure you have the quotes. So it should be enclosed in quotes. Once you have that, you just go ahead and save it. And those are going to be how you access 11 labs and then open AI. So it won't work unless you have that. So make sure you have that. Now, once you have that, you should be able to run the script. So I'm just going to press F5 and then it's going to say initiated down here and it's already going to start listening to me. So what it does is it has a keyword and it starts when you say keyword, the, the keyword, which is going to be, Hey, so once I said that it's listening to me already and it's probably going to respond to this dialogue. So let's see what it says. Hmm. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you sure you're not just imagining things? <laughs> so yeah, it responded back with that little snarky response. So we're just going to go ahead and quit out of it by just saying quit. Okay, so that's a quick demonstration of the chat method that I have in the class. Um, and then let me just go ahead and show you what the other ones do. Since I already have them pre-scripted, I'm just going to go ahead and use them. But you could copy and paste them um, in order to get them working as well, too. So this one is kind of like an assistant, like Google Home or Alexa. It functions in kind of the same way where it waits for a keyword and um, will not continue until it hears that keyword. Um, so for example, I have to say, Hey, again, I'm listening. And then it's going to respond back with I'm listening. And then if I don't speak after five seconds, it's going to stop. Um, and then, so let me show you that real quick. So if I just go ahead and run it again, um, I'm going to go ahead and initiate it by saying, Hey, and then I'm going to be silent for five seconds. I'm listening. And then you can see it went back to initiate it. So now it's stopped listening. Um, if I say, Hey, I'm listening, it's going to go ahead and continue again. Um, quit. Okay. And the next one that we're going to take a look at is going to be the interview one. So this one you can use to help practice for an interview. Um, so let's go ahead and run this one. This one actually introduces itself first. So it starts talking first. Hello, I am John, an interviewer with over 20 years of experience in the engineering industry. Thank you for coming in today. 
you are here to interview for the role of an electrical engineer in our company. Before we dive into the technical questions, could you please introduce yourself and tell us a little about your background and experience? Hi there, my name is Jared. I graduated from Chico State. I work currently as a systems test engineer and have a little bit of experience in coding. Thank you for that introduction, Jared. It's great to have you here. To start, can you tell me about your experience with test automation and scripting? Points, 100. Well, I've got a little bit of experience with creating Python scripts in order to make in order to automate some processes um, such as you know grabbing logs uh, iterating over files to check for certain things and stuff like that great jared that's a good start can you explain how you can improve the automation pipeline for the test framework please provide specific examples points 90 quit okay so that is how the assistant interview and then chat um you know chat methods work um, you can go ahead and just, you know, run these scripts as they are and they will work. Um, however, you might be wondering how you can edit these. So how you can edit the personalities, how you can change the what job you're going to be using for. And that's going to be inside of this folder called prompts. So um, if you go ahead and take a look back at this Python script, you can see what um, personality you used. And that is what prompt you're going to be using here. Um, so. Inside of here, you can see, let's go ahead to the role play prompt. Um, let me go ahead and view word wrap. Uh, here is what we have for the the role play one. Uh, we created this character called Takahashi Emi using um, ChatGPT. And then, you know, you get the, the personality type and stuff like that. There are obviously more, there are obviously better ways to do this. I just created this one real quick um, that people have gone into in depth with uh, how you can create good personalities and uh, characters with ChatGPT, so you can go check that out if that interests you um, so but this is where you set up the role play character um, personality um, inside of the interview this is where you set up the interview parameters um, so in here i have um, you are an interview with 20 plus years of ex experience in engineering um, it does get a little bit uh the i think when you have a very long instruction list for the bot it does kind of struggle a little bit sometimes um, with being natural or flowing naturally um, but you know this i think makes it a little bit more precise um, so you have a do nots you will do the following and then you will end the interview um, stuff like that i tried implementing a point system but the point system doesn't really work it it doesn't uh, actually fail you if you go below 70 points or lower um, but it will fail you eventually if you keep losing points so um, i haven't figured out how to do that completely yet but here are some job roles and duties taken from tesla from linkedin and i just threw in the the roles and duties there and so you might be wondering like how accurate is it for gauging your responses i would say it's pretty um it's pretty close it does a it does a really good job at gauging what you say and seeing if it makes sense or not and it will it will question you if if something doesn't line up with what it knows um so uh that's where i have you know you'll do the following you ask follow-up questions if if the accuracy of the question answers don't make sense um and that's the interview one you can set it up however however you want and then I guess the last one is the assistant. So this one, I just had it role play as Rem from ReZero um, with an archetype of Maya Dere. Um, you know, there are all types of archetypes for anime characters, which is why I use that one. And yeah, you can set up however you want the assistant to respond and react. And that's basically it. I do want to show you how it how it is with uh, Eleven Labs so that you can hear um, the voice. So um, if you make a voice in Eleven Labs, you can use it in this project. Let's go ahead and take a look at it, what it sounds like with the um, Eleven Labs voice. So let's go ahead and run the script. Hey there. I'm listening. Hey, how are you doing today? Greetings. I'm Rem, and I'm feeling quite well today. Thank you for asking. How about you? How can I be of assistance to you today? Would you be able to create me a shopping list for a simple fried rice dish? Okay, so this is interesting. I wonder how it's going to respond with this. Of course, I'd be happy to help you with that. Here's a list of ingredients you'll need to make a simple fried rice dish. Cooked rice, eggs, frozen vegetables, peas, carrots, and corn, soy sauce, vegetable oil, garlic, 
salt and pepper. And here are the steps to make it. One, heat a large non-stick skillet over medium-high heat and add one tablespoon of vegetable oil. Two, add two cloves of minced garlic and saute for 30 seconds until fragrant. Three, add the frozen vegetables and stir away for three minutes until heated through. Can you say a quick short sentence? Certainly. The world is full of possibilities. Quit. So there it is with the 11 Labs voice. Um, the little bit of the part that I showed you where it started glitching out, I think that's due to it not having a, that's due to it only being trained from like five minutes of audio. Um, so maybe I need to add a little bit more audio in there, but that's kind of interesting. It kind of glitched out for that part of the audio, but in general, it is pretty good um, for 11 Labs. And uh, I guess I should say one thing as well. All of this requires connection to Wi-Fi, so you won't be able to use this um, if you're not connected to Wi-Fi because it needs to access Google for the speech recognition, it needs to access the OpenAI API key for ChatGPT, and then the 11 Labs for the 11 Labs API key. And so I believe that is everything to get you up and started for this um, for this project. Um, you can use the those three Python scripts that are present in the folder. And so hope you found that interesting. If you have any questions, please leave it below in the comments for me. I am I'm modifying this code all the time, so it may change as the future goes on. So this video could get out of date pretty soon, but that's what I have currently. And if you want to get it used and try it out yourself, um, go ahead and just download the GitHub repository and let me know what you think. So that's going to be the end of the video today. Uh, see you later.